year is a share the stories of four remarkable women narrowed down from dozens of your nominations. Our Elizabeth Din is here to introduce us to the first finalist. Yeah, it's finally time. Can you believe it, you guys, that it's already been a year since we met our last remarkable women? Well, this time, this remarkable woman finalist helps local children during some of their toughest moments. It happens when they go to the Oregon City nonprofit she founded. It's called the Bloomin' Boutique. That's where they get things like brand new clothes, toiletries, even bed sheets. I know how the kids dress. In an instant, Patty Sears makes you feel welcome. That same warmth greets children in need when they come to her nonprofit, the Bloomin' Boutique. So let's say he's a medium, men's medium. Children who may have just survived a frightening, life-altering situation. So if you were to come in here as one of those children, you would be getting a new pair of shoes, four pants, five shirts, a jacket, three bras, five underwear, five socks, and we just build and sustain you with a care package so you can go a week in school and have whatever you need. Patty is adamant about only giving new items, a detail that can make all the difference during a difficult time. My experience of what I've witnessed in the last 13 years is when you give a child something new, they come in here with their arms kind of rolled in, not knowing what to expect, but they walk out of here with their shoulders back and they have their backpacks, their bedding, and they feel valued. Something Patty understands well. When she was four, a car crash changed everything. It was back in the day when there was no seat belts, and my mother was holding my uh, sister who was a year old, and she broke her neck, so she passed three days after the accident. And we were uh, four kids with a, sing you know, a father uh, whose wife just passed, and uh, it, he didn't quite have the tools. Um, he was a fabulous dad, but it was a lot. She clearly remembers the help that came from all around, including from the Sunshine Division. Two boxes, one with food, the other with toys. Then when things got tougher at home, another big change. My grandmother, who's a teacher in Milwaukee, took us in because we were close to being placed into foster care. And she took us in and took care of us and raised us. and. It's just those things I wouldn't change. I wanted my mom, obviously, but I wouldn't change it because I think it made me who I am. Now, thousands of lives are touched because of Patty's work. Not just the children, but donors and volunteers, too. So I want to help kids be productive, and I think this does it by showing them that they're worth something. Volunteers Nan DeWitt and Barb Schmidt nominated Patty to be honored as a remarkable woman. It's just so darn fun to, to be with her. I learn great stuff from her every day. She's kind of love in action, is what I would say. She built this on her own from nothing. I mean, and it just has bloomed. She's gotten so many people involved, and it's addictive. You, you feel so good when you do something positive. You know, it's just remarkable for what she has accomplished and how many donors she's been able to secure and get people involved in the community. Because it takes a person who can garner support from her community to sustain all that you see here. I am always so eager to get here on my days to come. And that's just as Patty is eager eager to make sure each child receives a personalized, positive experience, one that might just impact them for the rest of their lives. I actually experienced and had the privilege of doing three boys during the pandemic whose mother crossed over. I personally came up here and laid out all of their care packages. And to, all I knew at the end of the day was I couldn't change their situation. But I know when they went to bed with new underwear, new pajamas, new bedding, and a pillow with a homemade pillowcase, they knew that somebody cared. Because Patty really cares. By the way, that facility there is just one of three Bloomin Boutique facilities. They need a lot of space because Patty tells me they help about 720 kids each year in Clackamas, Multnomah, and Washington counties, ranging from infants up to high school age. By the way, the referrals to her organization come from agencies that already help children in need. That includes some who are going into foster care. Jenny and Dan, sometimes it's a child who just got through an emergency situation and they don't have anything. Even those little details she said, it's not just the clothes, but the sheets, undergarments, brand new undergarments can mean a world of a difference for a child going through something traumatic. Well, and you were showing the shoes too and how a lot of those are new and they're stylish and for kids, that's huge. Yeah, it's, it's huge to have those cool new shoes. It just, it, you know, gives them that extra 
positivity. And Patty stays yeah. on top of that. She knows what the latest trends are and to get those in stock so that when the kids come in, it's exactly what, like you were saying, like what's in trend right now and they kind of fit in and no one should know that they're going through something because of what she does. I love how the one woman said she's love in action. Yes. So we will see, maybe she will be a remarkable woman. She's one of four finalists, yeah. Yes, thank you. Uh, happening tonight, uh,